Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can use the Quizcom Modern Forms Display Mode feature to choose between side panel forms and full page forms. I have this lead tracker modern list, which is still not configured to use Quizcom forms. So when I click the new item button, we see the out of the box modern uh, side panel form. SharePoint doesn't let you choose between forms, it always displays these uh, side panel forms and sometimes it's not the best choice because you might have many fields, like in this case, or even uh, a lot more fields, which require uh, multi-column forms or multi-tab forms and not just one big pile of, of forms that require you to scroll uh, through a very long form. Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, change the quiz conforms display mode. So currently it's set up to off, which means we're using the out of the box uh, list forms. Now, when I uh, go to the Quizcom modern form settings page, I have this display mode uh, button where I can uh, switch between uh, the following options. So currently we're in off display mode, which means use the out of the box SharePoint list forms. I can choose Quizcom forms side panel or Quizcom forms full page. So let's start with the Quizcom forms side panel mode. Okay, so let's go back to our list and let's create a new item. So now you see the quiz conforms. Uh, you can tell because now we have a multi-column form and also uh, a multi-tab form. This form is also uh, dynamic, so you have you see here, for example, some cascading behavior. And if I go to my second tab, you see dynamic beha behavior where some fields appear only for some selected values and uh, and so on, or also I can have um, dynamic tabs. So only if I check this upsell checkbox, I see a third tab, which is called upsell details, and it's gone when I uncheck this. So I, I won't go into the quiz conforms uh, other features. This is the side panel, uh, and as you can see right now, uh, even now, side panel might be not the best choice for this kind of form, which is a multi-tab form. So let's go ahead and change the display mode to full page forms. Okay, so let's change it from um, side panel to full page. And let's go back to our list. And again, let's create a new item. And as you can see now, the form is displayed as a um, full page form. And that's it. So when using Quizcom forms, you can decide if you want to uh, use a side panel form it's best for uh, smaller forms, let's say with up to 10 fields. So you won't require your end users to endlessly scroll down for, uh, to fill out the entire form. Or if you have a more in, uh, extensive form with tens of fields which require also um, multi-column display or grouping these fields using tabs, uh, you're better off using full page forms which make it more convenient for your end users. That's it. Thanks for watching.